Hello, Nath. That's okay. Well, it probably is. I don't know how well my internet is currently, so it could go Hello, extremely Nath. bad. Oh, God, I can hear myself. Well, it probably is. So see how well she goes. It's the grab bag the pile of indies. Where I look at indie games I have massive amounts of and play one. Or twenty. And I'm doing that rather than buying myself some chicken. The chicken suddenly got expensive. Yes, it has. How the devil are you? How is you? How is life? I'm not even sure what games we shall be playing today. Literally no idea. An FAQ frequently asks questions of what? Of me? Or of the things I'm doing right now? You'll need to be specific. I don't think so, but I can easily make one up. Why are you here, Ari? I haven't streamed for a couple of weeks. How did you find me? In my secret place of secrets. Oh! Um, I could definitely make an FAQ up, yes. Uh, but no, I do not have one. But mainly, and fruit probably. I definitely love it. I do love a fruit. I do love a good Brussels sprout. The best fruit. Vegetables, however, I like bananas. Actually, I do like apples. I do like bananas. I'm not a big fan of pears. Anyway, you're distracting me. I was meant to be looking for games to play. What's actually installed? Here is our School of Magic, the demo. Ooh. To be fair, I don't actually like Brussels sprouts. Don't take that at all. SCB Abhorrent? Vaganti. Wizard of Legend. Battle Brothers Retro... Have I done Retro Commander? Steam. YouTube? To be fair, I am very peckish. I've had five biscuits today. I have not done Retro Commander, but on the list. Oh, Ari, a ghost hunting game has just opened up its beta testing. Maybe we should get your ghosty. Spellcaster University, yeah. Thoughts on mangoes? Like them in a drink, like them in a smoothie, not a fan of actual fruit on its own. No, 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 keep playing the music. I'm, I'm actually better with stuff as drinks than I am with them usually as an actual fruit. Like, I'm not a fan of oranges as they are, but I love orange juice. It's 
Which way? Connection number one, ignite! If I was a character in a game, it would be extra effective as a healing potion for me. Oh! Ignited Steel Mech Tactics, the first game out of the Indie Hall. So probably change that fence replacement. Just add an extra two grand onto it to get a car. I'm thinking of making Wednesdays Pilot Indies Day, but right now we need to get back into the whole streaming the schedule. Anyway, welcome, welcome, welcome to the first game, Ignited Steel. Is there even an option for this on the YouTube side of things? It's not saving. Hello, giant dad. Welcome. Ignited steel? Mech tactics! There is an option! We go into the first game. Gloriously so. Just to make sure you. I did half the games, I don't know if you actually have tags on stuff. So as you know, I'm secretly doing both sides at once. But welcome, we are in. We will now switch. Indy Ignited Steel Mech Tactics. The music will be stopped and the game will be active. Yeah, welcoming. Today we are looking, it was one of many games, our first game of the day is Ignited Steel Mech Tactics. It calls itself a turn based roguelite mech tactics game. So I'm very curious because I've never played it before and the artwork looks interesting and the actual Steam page looks kind of cool too. So let's get our mech tactics going on. Incoming transmission, always a good sign. Soldier report, ma'am it's worse than we thought. Oh he's an assault pilot. Our own machines are turning against us, it's the rise of the machine, it's, oh it's Skynet. Not just comedies, but absolutely everything. Anything built in recent years has gone haywire. Imagine being killed by a toaster. So this is what they meant. Ma'am, we've just received a transmission. The Humanix, Humanix, ugh, Corporation declared martial law. Of course the Corporation has declared martial law. They have used an AI called Pharos to burn our own weapons against us. I'll turn. How are we supposed to fight against them? We are doomed! Okay, skip, 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 skip. Got some very good music. Place your units. So we've got. We've got our commander. Move camera, where's rotate is Q and E. Okay. Start. Ooh! Got a very interesting art style. All of your actions have a cost and action points. At the bottom part of the screen, you can see all your remaining action points. Your turn plan be executed once you press the execute button. Oh, I see. So it's kind of a simultaneous turn-based game. Simultaneous turn-based games are you plan out your moves and everything happens at the same time. Okay, execute. Oh, look at that shotgun! That actually sounds real good. Okay. Okay. 
As you use your weapons, your mechs increase its heat level, so it's very mech warrior tactics going on as well. And the overheated state, your attacks become much stronger, but you receive damage. Oh, I see. So overheated, you can burn the enemy, but you burn yourself. Alright. I see, it slowly cools down as time goes by. Okay. Now what? Cooling. So I have like three or so action points by the looks of it. There we go. Cool down my mechanoid warrior. Okay. Enter attack mode. Change selected module. Okay. Go to propulsion gauntlet. Allows me to jump. Really? And I'd like to, let's see, get in there. I expect to do that. Oh! Oh my god! That is true. Tile based games, music is usually super important for this kind of thing because obviously what you've got going on is a lot of. Well, not a lot going on, really. Most turn based stuff, what you've got is you watching your units maybe bobbing up and down, but there'll be a lot of downtime and actual combat and movement. So, music and sounds are insanely important for turn based. Absolutely insanely important. Support equipment a bu combustion flamethrower. So, there's combat, there's level upgrades, and there's a rogue light progression system where you go through an FTL style thing as well. Primary weapon support equipment core, okay? Propulsion corners, I'd like to have a flamethrower instead, because I'm a pyromaniac. Uh. And let's go. Enemies, there's a bounty of a missile launcher here. Of course there is. Ooh, there is four targets. This is very different. There are four types of missions. Destroy, extract, defend, destroy, okay? So I'm obviously going to start with some basic stuff as I start building it up. Are they civilians? Uh. Hello, Drago. Okay, let's execute with burning and then move. When enemy heat reaches maximum, when the enemy heat reaches maximum, the enemy overheats. That this turn, it's. This turn to hey, I can't read. This turn this AI haywire causes a special effect, which is different on each enemy. I see, so it has different effects depending on what it is. Your main weapon can increase the enemy's heat. The higher the heat, the higher the damage I receive per attack. So when I overheat, I become more powerful. When they overheat, they do random things. Okay. Oh no, I'm going to have to cross a burning field of death. Okay. I love the mech designs. This actually looks really kind of cool. Oh! 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 Okay, I need to engage that. How do I hit that without being hit myself? I can't, I think. Alright, move up to... Yeah, I know. I can read. Okay, we have to keep moving. Two down. Mobilising. Didn't I set this city on fire? Oh, I definitely should have kept the gauntlet, but it told me to use the flamethrower because, of course, when you're doing tutorials, you must do things you don't like the idea of. Which is a shame, but there you are. Okay, cool down. Yeah, the design to these mechs are really interesting. I haven't seen any style like this before now I think about it. Any design like this at all? All right, let's uh two change of that flame. Through. Okay, move forward, burn. Welcome to the fallout. For those who are wondering, I am streaming this. If it makes it to YouTube, I'm streaming this. If not, I'm also making videos. We'll see. Burn, baby, burn. Another one bites to dust. I'm overheating. 
the design. How it moves is very interesting. Mostly they either walk normally or crab like. This thing is a weird mix in between. I like it. I like it a lot. Very interesting. So, plenty of turns to do stuff. Let's, let's boot this down. Alpha is alpha. Okay, income is... There is income. Good. Oh, buildings. Destroying... <laughs> I get, let's lose money for destroying buildings. Okay. My bounty is the Firemonger. So now I have Fire Flamethrower and Fire Missile Launcher. And now I have a choice. Congratulations, complete your first commission. Now continue exploring the star map to discover new planets. So yeah, as you can see, it's very much following the whole... There's an end point, because obviously this is just a um, an alpha test. But this is interesting. Hang on. So now we can go for Firemonger, which does less damage, but does, uses more power, but does more fire. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's go full on burny, burn, burn. Okay. We have this unknown, this unknown. The ship is in an asteroid field. The crew can see the remains of a mining station. Oh, there's events. And now we can buy stuff. Very FTL-like. So I can, let's see, repair myself, get better legs, support engine one space warper. Shrapnel machine gun. Reach 8,000 heat points in total during the next battle gives me 15, 1,600. Ready from destroying any targets. Use the support equipment 10 times during the next battle. Oh, look at that. I like this. Bounties. Partially repair. Uh, I don't really want that. Let's uh, sell. I kind of want the propulsion gauntlet. We'll keep moving. Oh! I now have access to two other random peasants who just came out of nowhere. Now that you have three units, you have to execute actions one by one before ending the turn. Okay. I get it. Looks like I might be able to have up to five. Oh, look how varied they are. The designs are really cool. Now that one's hovering. That one's got a massive defensive shield and wheels. So what are your options? Emergency drone heals and a projectile rifle. Okay. You move forward one. Fire. There. Then carry on moving. Execute. Eh. A bit. A bit meh. You're going to... Let's see. What have you got? You have MX Missile Launcher and Space Warper. Okay. Move two to here. Then, let's see, fire twice. Then move that way. Very interesting. Very interesting. I'm actually enjoying this a lot more than I thought I would. Reminds me a little bit of that, uh... What was that mechs versus kaijus game? That micro RTS. Okay, move up. Okay, you're gonna straight up just move. Very interesting. Animations on the weapons could definitely be upgraded a little bit. The movement, though. The movement looks amazing. You've leveled up to level 2. Select. Long shot sniper cannon. Yeah, sure. Okay, I want you to have the long shot. Actually, projectile rifle is already what you've got. Yeah, 
Let's just give you a rocket launcher too. Everyone gets rocket launchers. I'm feeling happy. Beach extraction point. Defend the generators. Let's do an escapey scapey. Weapon support. Yes. And have a look see. Okay. So what we've got. Hovercraft? Or are they flying vehicles? Are they hovercraft or air fighters? And that, that's either a heavy tank or an artillery piece in the background. <laughs> hey, no. Okay, push to here. Hit that. And push up. There. Fire. Move up. Okay, move here. Okay, move here. Then pull back to here. Yeah, the actual combat animation is a little bit too fast. No, no, it's pretty... Oh, my God. Pretty good. Oh. Oh. What is that? Down. Oh, that's overheating. Oh no, it's supercharged. Okay, that's three of them down. Another one spawning. Big guys left. We need to leave. That's the shotgun. Mobile. Oh my god. Really? Don't die. Don't explode. This game is pretty awesome. I do love the different design style. Like one flies, one drives. Okay. to ram people. It seems very much a waste. Well, who am I to judge? I guess I don't fly. It's a shame you can't move all your vehicles and units at once. I'd very much like that to be a thing. I'd love to be able to move an entire force in one go. So I guess it's not really simultaneous turn-based. Which is a bit of a shame, but there we are. Coming with me. We're stealing an enemy vehicle. Great. Yeah, the walkie I definitely like a lot. Driving. Eh, I've seen better. It reminds me a little bit of Xeno Squad now I think about it. Okay, you've leveled up, you've leveled up, you both healed. You have gained access to the Ice Piercer and the Alloy Grenade Launcher. A thousand damage! Ice Piercer. Hmm. Do I call down my troops or... But I'm going to just get a Grenade Launcher. Sod it. Destroy the generators gives me two cores and a lot more troops. Right, let's just go to the end.
Place your units. How do I do this? I didn't put the grenade launcher in. Okay, moving. What have we got? Oh, they actually have mechs. Assault biped. Deal damage to the circular area if it overheats. This one roots adjacent units? Huh. Yeah, the combat is a bit too fast. It's a bit of a shame. I don't think you can slow it down. I'm on the slowest speed. What's he doing? This seems quite powerful. There's a charge up. Never a good sign with a charge up, I'll be honest. Whenever you see a charger put a unit, that's a big problem. Okay, I've overheated. Yeah, I know. Move to here. I have never been good at keeping my mechs cooled down. Now I think about it. Never been good at keeping my mechs cooled down in any games I play which involve them. One big thing I need to do is keep my units healed as much as possible. Because obviously, health is permanent. That is... Hmm. Just, just cool you down. Okay, you need to cool down twice and shoot that. Okay, I'm getting it. I'm learning. I'm learning the ways of war. Panic, the thing I'm thinking of. Yeah, it was Kaiju Panic, I think. Kaiju Chaos? I'm trying to kill my main character. I think they're a main character. Star Jackal, welcome to this game. Something Mech Tactics. Also, how have you been? It's been a while. Ooh, Titanium Engine X1. More health, more heat power, better heat efficiency. I'll take that. Engine C3, ooh. Less health, but better heat efficiency. Mm. Let's grab this. Go to here, and we're going to finish and see this game, because this is just Sector 1. So it should be, hopefully, a boss. Uh, what we got? Projectile rifle, shrapnel, machine gun, fire monger, alloy grenade launcher, and kinetic punch. I can punch people. Okay, I don't want to buy anything. Let's check my hangar out. Okay, so you're going to change your fire monger for the alloy grenade launcher. And you're going to get your... This is going to become... Oh. The Titanium X1. There we go. So you're now more powerful. You are going to have the MX Emergency Drone, which heals people. I keep forgetting. I'm actually... And you're going to get the Titanium Engine X1 too. Sure, why not? 
and you're the guys who escape. So this is the final mission of this little demo, I think. Let's go. I do like how the weaponry changes. I do not like games where customising your characters or units does not change how they look. Oh my god, look at the size of that. Holy crap! Yeah, the actual combat should definitely slow down a teeny bit, or at least not end so suddenly. The end where it pulls back to your units is a little bit jarring. Shay was expecting some kind of boss. Now the overheat mechanic, we haven't seen much of it. My units are of course overheated, but the enemy forces have not really overheated that much. Which is a bit of a shame, but what can you do? What can you do? Ow. I do like the fact they're all different terrains. Right now I've only seen arid or frozen, so more or less heat. But it does mean they're going to try and do more styles in the future. Okay, if I hit the city, I'm going to do a lot of damage. They do not want me to blow up the city, which is weird, because, you know, that seems like a thing I should be doing. Okay, so I blow up the city, I'm going to lose money. I've already blown up chunks of the city now, I think about it, yeah. to play this. This demo is available on Steam right now as we speak. Most of the games I play are available on Steam in some form or another. Sometimes on itch.io, sometimes they are a betas or playtest. But yeah, most of the things I play are available in some form or another upon the Steams. Still one more unit left. There's number nine. But yeah, this is a pretty interesting look at this game. I think it's shown everything. Obviously, there's a little bit more to go, but that's about it. And then, yeah, we're done. I imagine when the full version comes out, there'll be a lot more content. Because obviously, right now, there is only so much we can talk about. The movement is great, the sound is great, the animations are great. Again, I would definitely like to see slower animations on the combat, or at least not a sudden pull back to your units, but that's pretty major. The soundtrack is awesome. The soundtrack is absolutely amazing. And the actual weapon design is pretty cool too. And there we go. More money for the horde. Machines have taken over. No toaster will be getting past us. I've seen what happens with talkie toaster talkies. And there we go. That is ignited steel. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed that. Um, I'm enjoying it a lot. Link in the description to the demo and the full page. This is of course a demo. And yeah. I've enjoyed that an awful lot more than I expected. So what's everyone's opinion on that game? That game was pretty interesting, I think. 3741. I quite like that. Quite like that a lot, actually. But yeah, we need to find another one now.
Yes, Indie Game Day, I'm afraid to say. I'm meant to be doing Indie Game Day on Wednesday, but I've not been streaming for a couple of weeks, so I'm trying to get everything back in in one go. So, Thursday, we'll be going back to regularly scheduled strategy stuff. Wednesday, I might be online too. But yeah, today is mostly just indie-based games, I'm afraid to say. So if you're not excited about indie stuff, you are without a free. Ah, you recognise it. Yes, this is the OST for Edge of Eternity currently being playing right now. This is Battle of Eternity number five. <laughs> I wonder if anyone would recognise it. Usually I play the OST for other side. But no, Starjack, I'm glad you're around. I was worried about you. Because you haven't been around for a few weeks. Right, how are you, Naf? How Gnome, if you're still here, how are you? Drago? Uh, Drago to Nitra? Are you still around? Hopefully you are. Dragon Man, what are you secretly doing? What, the games in the background? That's just a random pick. Uh, games I have are just demos, alphas, and some stuff I've been given by developers. I have hundreds of games I need to get through. And unfortunately, I never get through all of them. So my indie my indie pilo games is where I just go through them. You're trucking to Ista... Oh, in, in your game. I was like, my God, you should be doing that and talking to me. Okay, some of these games, have, some of these demos have actually officially gone, so I can delete them at least. Interdimension is still here. Moonshine is still here. Warhammer 40k is still here. That I got got rid of. Civitas demo or Civita. Running with rifles. I never did anything with running with rifles, did I? I probably should have. Jets and guns, gold. Retro commander. SCB Abhorrent. But there's a lot of games I need to get through. An awful lot of games. Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Jewel. Pioneers. I need to do that one. Oaken. Hidden Deep. need to complete that one. Bloody hell. Oh yeah, the Fertile Crescent demo doesn't exist anymore because the game came out today. What is warm snow? I can't show warm snow. I don't understand the language. Cup of noodle cook. That sounds nice. Hope you enjoy it. I personally need to eventually go buy a load more chicken and a new car, but maybe the chicken. Z door needs to be turned into a series. But I got on the itch front. I've got G Round game I need to do too. G Round is, of course, the um, indie game company I'm, I work for by doing stuff. How about the car? Uh, let's just say I need a new car. The sills running down the bottom of both sides of the car are so badly rusted, tapping them gently with a regular hammer makes pieces fall off. Now, someone said they could probably weld it for me, but I've seen the issue. For them to weld that much damage, they'd have to be welding rust to rust. I'm not sure I trust that. I'm not sure I trust that level of repair at all. So... Yeah, so I, I'm debating what to do about that one. I'm looking around, good looking at a, I'm looking at like maybe a car 1500 or something which will run me for a few years, but as you can see from the bottom corner, I'm sort of repairing the fence and things. It's starting to get annoying. 
Anyway, that's that's for a different thing. I don't like talking too much about my issues. Like I've had a lot of problems lately. Was well, the side invasion invasion machine I was going to do? But every time I look at invasion machine, it's always the bad time of the year, like the Syrian war or and stuff. Ugh. I should do glitch. Have I ever done glitch punk? <sighs> Issue number two, one, three. Well, I am just glad you came back. I was worried that you just disappeared completely. Gonna have you disappearing. Occasionally you make good jokes. Well, my issue number one is limited edition. Yeah, why would it get once? I don't even think it would be fixed well. I think it'd still be um, one of those things I'd be very worried about. Never done glitch punk. Yeah, the welding, I think, it'd probably last for another year or so, but so for three or four hundred, maybe, to repair. But I start looking at anything more than that, I really don't want to spend that kind of money. So that's where I'm currently at. I have two and a half weeks left before my car's officially not roadworthy, when its check runs out. So I'm looking around for new cars. Anyway, different thing, different thing, different thing. Let's get car let's get uh, game number two prepped. Also, when they were checking it, they actually, they actually broke the handbrake. And also the brake cable snapped. The brake cable snapping, I knew. The handbrake, that was fine to find that pointing straight up. It's a 90 degree straight up to make the brakes work now. Thanks. Garage. Luckily the car is already screwed. I'd be annoyed with that one. Okay, I need the game to boot up. Are we locked on? Yes! What are we at? 4558. Okay. Yeah, I'm glad everyone's here. We're getting there. We're getting to awesome things, doing awesome stuff. There's a glitch on my stream. I know, right? But yeah, I'm looking at a new car, looking at a new fence, all the cool things. Let's get into Glitch Punk, which is a top-down GTA game, which I was given a year ago and got really bad reviews for. I've never touched a game. Let's have a look at the game. Cue the epic music, stop. Cue the epic game, switcheroo. Dun, dun, da, da. Okay, greetings and welcome to Glitch Punk, best described as GTA in the cyberpunk years. The original GTA, the top-down GTA, where you used to see a line of Elvis impersonators and you ran them all over and then drove your car into the ocean. This is Glitch Punk. I've had it for about a year. It's not been the most well received. It's about average. A lot of issues have been talked about uh, how well it runs. It has not been running well and there have been bugs. Are the bugs and the issues fixed one year in? Let's have a look-see. So as you see, you get to pick. We have Texas, Baltia, Moscow, and Neo Tokyo. I am the mayor. I am loading, but yes, Glitch Punk, top down GTA. Which immediately froze. Of course it did. Of course it did. Oh. 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 Oh! It's the 
because this is why I cut out loading the screens on my videos. Also, now if the bot's live. Welcome to Glitchpunk. Oh my god. By default, you move your character to the west. You space to jump left to attack and control to switch weapons more than one. Thank you. Okay, I don't care about anything you do. So it doesn't run the best, it never has. Also, the visual style. <sighs> Looks like your journey has begun. Remember to keep your progress. Okay. Press left shift. Left shift to toggle hacking mode. Glitchbunk allows you to alter the minds of people around you. Strategically plan your approach. So you can hack people. See this? I have no valid hacking plans or modules. And it does still run a bit now. But you can see this. I have options. I can frenzy, brain fart, distraction, turn alloy, alloy steel credits. I need to unlock those kinds of things. There's different factions within the game. This one is obviously an auto cultist. There's different... Like, they, are, they own territory. Very much, if you ever played uh, GTA 1 or 2, you know how it works. There's different factions, different vehicles, different things going on. E, log in, contract up. Okay. Leave the search without a side when you'll be in trouble less than a minute. Accidents happen all the time. New Baltia. Get yourself a pistol. Have a solid argument for any disagreement. Okay. Grab a pistol. Now, one thing I can say is the actual art style's pretty nice. The, um... It does run not the best. It might be because I'm streaming it, but I'll be honest. It ran like this about a year ago, too, when I last tested it. But yeah, if you ever want to go back to the eight old golden days of GTA, you can. You can also just play GTA 1 or 2. So that guy's now on. Who are you? You are an auto cultist. No way out here, notice. Buy a med kit. And the, you can do a lot of things. Obviously, you can get weaponry, there's cars, there's vehicles, there's a little bit of customization. But mostly what you'll be doing is actively murdering other groups and slowly building up your reputation so you can get the better things. Another nugget of wisdom. Okay, see to skip. Okay, so now it wants me to murder three unlucky androids. And why are you following me? It's a pickpocketer! Every crime you commit can raise your wanted level, okay? Vehicles are fastest, most reliable ways to travel. So there is. Tickling their lungs. There is a. Oh, gods! A police system in the game. No, that's a police officer! No! <laughs> guy was stealing from me. Do I have my gun? No. When you die, however, you have to get your gear back. Which is a shame. So I've got two grand. Uh. Ah! No, no, don't shoot me! No, stop shooting me! I'm just innocent and sweet! Ooh. How do I use my med kit? It doesn't actually tell me how I use my med kit. No, police, why would you do this? I'm doing nothing wrong! Doing nothing wrong! But yeah, the game is interesting! Who are you? Uh, you guys are auto cult. These guys are reapers. They've killed an auto cultist. Ah! Okay, they don't like being me near, near them. You can lose police just by hiding. Of course, it's a bit hard. Do I have any hacking abilities right now? No. Okay, Q healed me. That's good. Let's go up the staircase. Thanks for the money! Four dollars! You can get run over. There's lots of places you can, of course, travel to, but it is very much GTA original. Who are you? You're a Reaper. I've started a fight with another gang. 
It was this. Ooh. That's a very nice vehicle design. For the day you can come in and swallow the happy pill. Um, secret ingredient of our healthy net. Beta corporate. Society of brave new life. How do I how do I turn the sound off? Oh, and here's the map. That's a minigun. There's RP there's RPGs behind me. You know how toxic the air is after the first hydrogen war? How toxin on meter so. How do I mute? Oh, and I can also upgrade myself with modules, I can self-destruct, I can save. I should probably leave. Oh, they just run over everyone! Oh. I jumped off! Okay, where are those RPGs? RPGs are south of me. There isn't too much to it, of course. It's mostly just going to be a playground for you to mass murder. They here? Oh. It says they're here. I think it's this. Oh. Found them! <laughs> and the graphics are okay. The music's alright. It does run pretty poorly. It could be because I'm streaming, but I'm pretty sure it's always been this way. Now, the actual... Oh, God. The actual... What's going on? The sound, the graphics. They all work really well together. But there isn't too much... Oh, God. Too, too much else to it. What is that? Give me more... To it. If you like the combat, you're going to enjoy most of the game. If you like the old school GTA but it wasn't too much to do apart from just having a playground of destruction, you're going to enjoy the game. Otherwise, yeah, the, uh, obviously the later GTAs have a lot more going for them. And the old 2D style, of course, was done purely because... Well, the graphical limitations of the time. Although I don't think there's actually many games like this out there which are 3D. Maybe the... Um, the Yakuza series could probably get close to something like this, but they're more slapstick. Or they were more slapstick. Yeah, the Yakuza series could probably get close to this in 3D. Which I actually need to finish off. Yeah, it doesn't run the best. It does not run the best at all. Once we get a pistol, I'm carrying an RPG and it wants me to get a pistol, of course it does. Looks like ammo doesn't really run out. I have a pistol where I don't have to reload, so it's extremely old school with that. Extremely old school. Like, obviously, the RPG, you have to reload one at a time, as it were, but you don't have to reload your magazine clips. You only have to do it if the gun looks like it should. RPGs and so on stop you just facing mass shooting everything. Because of the top down level, you can't always see where you're looking either, which is a bit of an issue. Yeah, this isn't running very well. How bad is it on the screen? Oh well. It is what it is. Be 
being hit really massively makes the screen shake to the point where that's a little bit unplayable. Being shot then was very much not in control. I don't do anything with this. It looks nice. Oh. <laughs> to restart mission, press R. Oh. But yeah, Glitch Punk. It's out. It exists. It's a thing which you can play. It's a thing that you can look at. It's been out for quite a while. I mean, it does... <sighs> does look nice, but there isn't too much going on with it. You just said infidel and shot a man. There is a hacking. There is a hacking system. You can hack. That's a little bit later in the game, of course. Once you get the kills going on, you start hacking. It's a little bit. Eh, it's all right. But whenever you mouse people over, you can see exactly what you can do. You know, frenzy, steal credits, turn ally distraction. It's nice. It does kind of depend upon which guy you're looking at at the time. You can see their net worth, their heart rate, their age, what their occupation is. But mostly it's just there to cause a little bit more havoc. It's not the most in-depth of system. It's just a little bit extra. And that about sums it up. It's just a little bit extra. If you like what you see, obviously you know exactly what the rest of the game is going to look like. Ah! I got hit by my own car! Destroy certain things. Oh my god, it's glitching pretty badly. <laughs> Being hit by cars is pretty fun, but yeah, it's a bit meh. It's okay. It's okay. In fact, I think I might call it here for this one. I'm not having the most fun I've ever seen. It's interesting to watch. Ooh. It's interesting watching the world, seeing the different factions fight. But yeah, it's just it's a, it's just something which puts me off. I don't quite get what it is. Don't quite get what it is. Forward looking for my level up. Who was that? Who did a thing? Rod, thank you for the subscription. Hopefully you're doing awesome. And also, how are you? Welcome in. Got him. How did you even report that? There was no one here. No, oh, stealing your car. But yeah, this has been looking glitch punk. It's okay, it exists. It's still a little bit bad on optimization, even a year later. Oh my god, really bad on optimization. And it's fun, but there isn't really too much to hold my interest at the moment. I, I love these games back in the day. But like that Grand Theft Horse game which came out, there isn't too much to do with them once you get past the original premise of big playground of stuff. Which is a shame, but they were. But yeah. <laughs> oh. So yeah, I think I'm going to call it here on Glitch Punk, shame to say. Not too interesting to me. I've shown you what it is about. Obviously there's grenades, there's mini guns. There's a few guns, as you can see, a shotgun, assault rifle, machine gun. There isn't too much on the thing to go with. But yeah, this is Glitch Punk. It's available now. Or you can get one of the GTA games if they ever go on sale. They don't. What's that? 103.17. Just a second. Just a second.
back to the music. Go just play my... What games have you found, thanks to me? I'm suddenly super curious. Anything epic or just casual stuff? Because I, I go for a lot of things. Yeah, welcome to me testing out many different things and see how well they do. I wish people stopped trying to hack my bloody Microsoft account. That's like four today. Anything cool? Anything awesome you've found? It says that the game's been abandoned. Interesting. Yeah, I do a lot of strategy stuff. Just earlier, we are having a quick look at Ignited Steel. Because obviously I mainly do strategy-based games. Do you know survival, tactics, that kind of thing as well. Ignited Steel Mech Tactics. Good game. There's a demo available on Steam as we speak. Just a second, I need to listen to a voicemail. Um, well the, the game I played before, Ignited Steel Mech Tactics, is pretty good. And the, probably the what thing was, um, people keep trying to hack my, uh, my, my uh, Microsoft account because they hate me. I know that because it keeps asking me to change my code every four hours. Bloody useless. Bloody useless. But no, I'm looking at a lot of, uh, strategy games right now. I could just go for sifting through the pile to find out what's worthwhile. You don't own the copyright splatter cat. What's Lords of Soul? Songs of Six, I actually need to get back to. That's one of the ones I'm definitely going to be getting back to because I like it. I like it a lot. And it's been updated. Every time it updates, it delete, it breaks the saves and people have a go be going, why aren't you playing that game anymore? The saves broke. You know, you should be doing it. The save broke. a lot of games out right now. Yes. There's loads of different strategy games out there to be fair. An awful lot. 
It depends entirely on what your style and base is. Like, if there's games I need to play, like Orbit Industries, I've been given a copy for. It is Orbit Industries. Orbit Industries is literally building a space station. Uh, card based roguelike Zoite. Uh, there's a few, I'll have a look. Yeah, I. <laughs> Gods. Indie Buzz. North End Tower Defense. Lethal Running. Uh, sci fi tower defense, just called sci fi tower defense. Interesting. X4 new DLC. I need to play new X4 DLC. Lazy Galaxy 2, Distant Worlds 2, Distant Worlds 2, Beholder 3. There's a few things I've got. Anyway, let's have a look. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Lords of Solgrunt. People are telling me this game could be interesting. Other people are telling me it looks terrible. This is basically the merchant game with a little bit of Age of Empires sprinkled in. But I don't know too much about it. All I know is there's city building and this kind of art style. Today is fun a day that Hegel teaches me statecraft. And you have direct control of your troops who move extremely slowly. Now the art style is interesting, because your style as a soldier kind of feels like it doesn't fit in with the rest of the universe. One of the things I was talking about is, does the art work for the guys fit the rest of it? This, the players, the player characters look like they're from a slightly different game design. Interesting. Come around your late without hundred others, okay. Okay, I think he's just telling me how to use troops. Hmm? Huh? Hmm? Or not. Okay, where's my quests? Build one woodcutter, one stonecutter, okay. Can I choose where to put them? Can they rotate? Okay. And there we go. So there's a bit of settlers thrown in as well. You can't tell your people to do anything unless they're the soldiers. That's what settlers for. And all those. So your soldiers have to be told what to do. Your peasants do what they want. So imagine you'll be setting up supply lines and supply chains. That looks okay so far. It's obviously a slower paced strategy style city builder game. As you can tell. Much slower. I have access to basic buildings right now. What's this? Dirt road? Oh, how do I cancel? How do I cancel? Oh. Interesting. Definitely a slow paced kind of game. I'm kind of intrigued to see where this goes. As you can see, it needs to be connected to a road to be built. So everything is following the settler's format. If you do not have a road, you do not have an economy. Because as everyone knows, in the olden days, everything was connected via road. Half the houses in my village still aren't connected via road. But here we are, roading anyway. Oh, so we're connected. They can now build these. Wait, it is connected via road. Wait a minute. You take care, Rod. Lofi, you can get into section if you want. Oh, I see. The road connections need to be where it's telling me they are. Interesting. That's going to be annoying. 
Can I rotate? Q. Oh. Where's the rotate button? Is there no rotate button? Tap. Oh. No, no rotate. So where the where it goes is where it stays. And it has to be connected. By the one small bit underneath it. So the markings are quite simply. Get away. So the little, that little marking is where the road has to be. Fine. Fine. So why aren't they building this then? It's connected. Very slow. Very slow game. How's you, Lofi? How is that sweet life? Might have to turn the sound down. Okay, uh, the stone cutters have been built, and so has the woodworkers. They're building, they're pumping it with their hammers. And there we go. Excellent. Remember to not rely on only one of each worker. A large seven will require a lot of wood and stone, so make sure we don't want our supplies. Okay, so now do we have access to shinier things like a bed? We have a marketplace. Coolsies. And our hovel. Hovels, of course, have to be connected via the teeny, tiny little road pieces, which is shown. <sighs> oh, I see. There's literally has to be a gap between them, too. Interesting. All right. Interesting style having little bits of road in between them, but there we are. And now we wait for quite a long time for this to be built, because it appears no one's actually working here. No one appears to be... Wait. So no one's working? How do I, get... I guess I need more people first. Let's just wait for it to be built. Lofi, why do you have 127 hard drives in the back of your car? Like, that's a few too many hard drives. Few too many hard drives. The first of our houses are complete. It was at seven. Now it's looking seven for every house we have. That's that's a lot. Which means this stone cutters will be done soon. This wood cutters will be active, and then we'll have more resources to expand our glorious empire. It's just taking a little bit of time. Just a little bit of time. Now is anyone going to work here? No? No? Okay. At least the music sounds excited. No? How do I get this to work then? Hey. Guys? Can one of you go to work there? Is there an option I'm missing? I know I'm skipping a little bit, but she still at least, you know, do stuff for me. Taxes are low, rations are normal. Ooh, double rations. Missing description, trade. I guess we just wait a bit longer for this marketplace to be built. Oh, 
though, seriously, why do you have so many hard drives, Lofa? Were you just throwing them away, or is there some kind of secret thing you're doing? While we wait for this uh, marketplace to be built, it's raining. Suddenly. Viciously. But luckily, the marketplace is nearly done. We've only been waiting for six days, seven hours, and one tea time. But good. Now new villagers will come to our settlement. They're already here. To find sustenance, we'll need food. How many types of food? Grain. Grain mill. Then a fishing lodge. Okay. Some buildings require special payment. Of all of the structures to work, yes. So now I need access to what? What's it doing? Why is it trying to. No, I don't want to go over there. Stop it. There we go, so we need food, that's fine. We're in this building to be specifically after after the road. Uh. There. There we go. Okay, so now we need a grain field. We need a grain farm. A grain field. There we go. Then we need a grain mill. Then we need a grain bakery. And there we go, our city is steadily coming to life. People are actually finally working. And the world's looking nicer. And now we play the waiting game. What are we waiting for? The game. Tell you what, I'm not a big fan of this one. I don't mind slow games, but they need to build it up or be a reason for slow. Like if the initial, if you start off with all these resources and the initial startup time is still forever, that's a problem. Like I've had games where they've given you like 10 wood and it's enough to build one house and a woodcutter. That's fine. That's very fine. But not when it gives you enough for like an entire village and it's still taking forever. I'm watching my view numbers drop as we go along, so people aren't interested in this one. Then again, most people are probably excited to see me come live again. One thing I can say is the music's pretty damn good. The music's pretty damn good. Oh, the music just immediately stops. I literally just complimented the music and the music just stopped halfway through a track. Never a good sign. Now, this is very settlers like. Your characters, when they don't have jobs, just stand outside the buildings they last went to. That's very much a settlers thing. We have defensive structures, military structures, decorations. So there's a lot of stuff we can get in the future. Just gotta wait to get there for the settlers level of stuff to kick in. Okay, we have the farm, we have the fishing, we have that, we have the bakery. What's my quest? Build a f I have. It's a quest line broken already. Build a fishing lodge, grain mill, grain farm. Oh, I need a bell, a well to be done. Not a bell, a well. That's it. Hit it with your hammer, sir. Build me my well. 
because otherwise what's the point of anything and there we are resources are coming in okay doing well what's my next quest build a flax farm weaving mill and a tailory tailory is that the phrase There we go, keep expanding and growing. Because you don't quite know when and where things will be done. It's nice, it's nice to see the city slowly expanding. And the big thing you're going to have with this kind of game is, you have to make it exciting to watch a city expand and grow. Obviously settler style games, it's all about the production lines, the production chains. If I build an iron mine over here, where's my coal mine going to go? My coal and my iron have to be delivered to the blacks to the smelter. The iron and then the more coal has to be delivered to the blacksmith. The blacksmith then has to make the tools. The tools are then used to mine the coal, stuff like that. It's nice to get these massively long production chains ongoing. Now maybe this one will have that kind of thing ongoing in the future. It's just I don't know, it feels very much a slowed down version. I don't quite know why. I'm pretty sure the original Tetlers 1, 2, 3 and 4 are a bit like this. It's hard to say, hard to say. Now this is only obviously a tech demo. I wouldn't say it's an alpha, this is definitely a tech demo more than anything. To show you how the game works. But it exists. I now have access to my first production chain of flax farm weaving mill? Oh yeah, Taylor. Flax farm weaving Taylor. So we have our official first production chain. If you ignore the food production chain over here, which is making wheat to obviously turn into a flour to turn into bread. So let's, see, let's, let's see, six people are you? Food is here, plenty of bread, plenty of fish, we can have cabbages, baked chestnuts, omelettes, sausages, medicine, jewelry, so there's a few things here, there's a few different food groups. A few different things we could do. Obviously, this is a smaller map to teach us how things are going. Which is fine. I do kind of miss my soldier I started with, who is apparently me. Do you want something, sire? Delivering three stones. Delivering two timber. Going home to rest. I'm going to work. Do you want something? Ah, half rations. Okay, we've nearly built a tailor's shop. Our first true production chain, which isn't food, is completed. But now we need to produce militia. You can increase or decrease the amount of taxes you take, that's fine. So now the barracks. Once the barracks is done, the soldiers will begin. Because we will be needing the military, apparently. That's where Settlers 4 was, that people weren't too happy with it, because it had a military uh, segment to it. It was basically down to who has the most soldiers, because it wasn't the most advanced, was it? You just needed a few more towers, turn off your troops, and obviously they needed more people. Eventually you ran out of resources, you needed iron to make your soldiers, and gold to make them higher tiers. And once you ran out of resources, you were kind of doomed. It was a good idea. Didn't make multiplayer that exciting, but it was a good idea. Good idea indeed. But they just need a bit more work. I also remember that Settlers game they made where they were kind of showing three people playing by moving characters, by picking them up and stuff. That looked amazing. Actual gameplay was alright. Trailer looked amazing. I can't wait for augmented reality. But yeah, this music, absolutely amazing. 
absolutely amazing music. Do -do -do -do. I wonder where it's from. I wonder if it's royalty free if it's the bone. But yeah, we are just mainly waiting. We'll get the troops out in a sec. Oh, it stopped. It literally stopped. You talk about the music, it gets scared and runs away. There we go. So now we need soldiers. Place train units in the back of the queue. So how do I train? Do we need wooden weapons? Okay, quests. Build a guardhouse to recruit 10 militia. This was a barracks. So I need a guardhouse. Should be defensive. No. Barracks. Okay. Delivering three bread to the barracks. So, what do I need? Does it just do food? And that's it. Ah. So, do these take place of the troops? How's this work? It's a little man with a pitchfork. Yeah, the actual art style of the peasants, as opposed to the buildings, is completely different. I don't think it is. It just gives me the feeling that it is. That's very odd. Um. Alright. Combat I imagine must be whoever has the most numbers. It says here that it's squares. Return home. Missing description. That was an old fortress over here. If you click on place they can't go, just permanently walk in place. Amusing. Ah, oh, amusing. Interesting. Seriously, is that their formation now? Okay. So you have to click the formation button for them to go together, otherwise what happens is they all just spread out. Interesting. So clicking in one place, they literally move the formation. Dumb. Genuinely dumb. If you click somewhere, you want all your soldiers to move to that point. Not do this, you have to slowly shuffle them. Stop. We must proceed to port the rebels taking over gold mine. Okay. Yeah, the combat I can't imagine is going to be that exciting. I'm not expecting to win. I thought I'd do a bit of combat. I spent... Oh, there's no AI. There's no AI. I... Maybe because it's a tutorial? Doesn't bode well, but, you know. Alright. Is this a bit of a quick look at Legends of Solgrund? Not the most impressed. It looks like... Oh, they are taking damage. Okay, I found a loot.
Huh. That's it. That's Legends of Soul Grunt. Whatever. It's... <laughs> it's obviously just a tutorial. It needs significantly more work. There's promise, but it's so slow paced. The AI is not there for the soldiers and the formation for the troops is non-existent. But yeah, Legends of Soul Grunt. You want to try it now? Demo description available, but yeah. There you go. Legends of Soul Grunt. How is everyone? If indeed anyone is still here, how are you guys potentially doing if you still exist? How many games have you gone through so far today? Ignited Steel, Glitch Punk, Lords of Soulgrund. If anyone's still here, how are you doing? I apologise, some games are good, some games will be slower. It just is the pick of the litter. It just be what it be. unit after you in uh, RimWorld. I don't know if I've released the episode, but I named a unit after you. Might be dead, but this there. A like Dragon Man has a unit? I think his has a grenade launcher. Maybe a flame grenade launcher. not too busy. I just skip lunch that day, you don't know. But yeah, I'm very hungry. Tell you what, I'll eat food for you, maybe. What's the next game on the list? We've done three, two of which were okay. I'm lying. We have to get the scheduled stream stuff going on more often. Especially my stream start time. I'm only early by two hours.
Oh, basking. You and your basking shorts. What do I full mode this? There we go. Let's have a look at Dome Romantic. Welcome to Dome Romantic. You have to dig up the underground to get resources to power a laser to stop Cthulhu eating your base. That's Dome Romantic. You have laser and you do the other things. So obviously we're going to start with laser. We have a game mode which will be core. Because we're trying to beat the world by getting to the core. So quiazd is what we're after. Quiazd. Hey, not big. So this is you. As you can see, this is your laser. And what you do is you go deep and you grab resources. And you take them back with you. But the more you carry, of course, the slower you are. But you're trying to power and build your base to stop Cthulhu eating you. I refuse to drop any. Perfect. And that's the game. Dig deeply and greedily, and then stop the terrible, terrible things of the evil stuff above eating you. And obviously you get upgrades and stuff as time goes by, but you want the resource, of course, to repair and to build. All right now, of course, not really much I need to do apart from dig, delve, dive. It's a very, very simple little game. I've seen a lot of people playing it lately, though, because obviously you just get a simple design idea, and a lot of people jump onto it. Like if you look at uh, Vampire Survivors, which I also need to play. Very simple game. In fact, the game style has been around for decades. And obviously a lot of people are now trying to get in on that act. A lot of things are doing the exact same thing, also call themselves survivors. How do I use my right, controls? Move with WASD arrow keys or gamepad. Okay, now what? How do I use my laser? What is this? Oh no! Console thing. Well, that's a bit of an issue. Okay. So, left is battle, right is upgrades. Laser drone. Hostile proximity. Yes. Repair your dome repeatedly with that. Yes. <coughs> Excuse me. It'll be confusing. Okay, Dad's targeting sites to lay the show where it is aiming. Yeah. Let's get more power. I'd like to have better drill strength. Okay, we'll come back. We'll come back for you. 
And that's the game, apart from the sneezing. The sneezing is entirely me. Uh oh. Is that music or a warning? It's music. Obviously, there's a different resources, and the more resources you have, the better things are. Can you survive? Uh oh. Maybe not. I don't think I can. I didn't even know how to fire my laser. And that might be. Oh, at the bottom left is where the next attack's going to happen. I assume. Come on. Up we go, up we go, up we go. At the bottom left is the next attack. It should be happening about now ish. But the game is super simple. Pick a gadget. Install a small bubble onto the dome containing repelling liquid, activate to release the repellent, delay the while the next wave. Plant trees that grow fruit to buff your drill and movement speed. Yes. Go, 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 go! There we go! And that's the game! Pretty simple, pretty effective. I know Splattercat has done this, I never quite figured out what the name was called. But obviously a lot of his stuff pops up. Here's him, him and Nucleum. Their stuff pops up all the time for me. Definitely the drill upgrade, I think. But like I say, the goal is to survive and get to the centre of whatever planet we're on. I'd like to say the Earth. I don't think we're in the centre of the Earth. I do not think the Earth is here. Well, if it is, Cthulhu's eaten it. Now, games like these, I always think, I should have multiplayer. I think a lot of games are better with multiplayer because I like playing with my friends, if I had any. Yeah, quite simple. Move into things, grab stuff. Obviously, there's a bit of confusion at the very beginning, but that's fine. I've learned it. I did it all by myself, no cheating or help. For those wondering, this is a live stream. And I didn't get any help at all. For those who are watching the live stream VOD, you know. If this is a video, it's different. We'll see what I do with it. Okay, do I have enough for resources for anything? Uh, does it tell me how much I have? Not really. Laser moves fast would be nice. No. Uh, this is duration. Orchard, well, we got the orchard. I think duration. Actually, I think get pack boost would be nice. Okay, compact is better. Fair few options to pick as well, which is quite nice to see. Go, 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 go! The evil will not win this day! And I will name this planet Lofi. It'll be a great place. Maybe. Full of Lofi. Why are we calling it that? It just seems like one of those planets. You want to give it a nice, friendly name before it eats you. Oh, the music's quite nice. A bit loud, but quite nice. Now, the deeper we get, the harder it is to actually break stuff. So we're going to have to go back up, I think, and break some of the easier stuff at the top. Yeah, it's a lot easier. See that? If I go down, it's, it says four. If I drop down, it's five. So this level's four. So, yeah, there we go. Stick on this level. It'll be a lot easier to break things. We have to get rid of one. So yeah, the higher you are, see at the top it's just one. Then it gets worse. Is that it? Oh, there's things in the oh god, there's things in the sky. I 
second. Uh oh. The dome's going to break! I need repairs. How do I repair again? I need more of that one. I don't have that resource right now. Come on, need that resource. So the big thing, of course, is getting the resources for the job. You don't have the resources, you're going to die. So there's a bit of RNG going on as well. Because you could easily get the wrong resources. Like these. I don't need these right now. I need the other resource I don't have. And it could be here. It could be right next to it. It could be this. It's not this. Which means I'm probably going to die. So there's a roguelite element to it. Obviously the graphics are extremely simple. Let's teleport deep to the mine. Meter, meter showing the distance to the nearest resource. Yes. Oh, so there's one right here. Damn, it's the wrong resource. This is going to kill me. I do not have the ability to stop the attacks. They're going to break the glass. Yeah, we're going we're to lose. About to lose. Uh oh. This is bad. We don't have the resources to do it. And that's how it goes. Because obviously, right now, I'm screwed. Wait. So there's resources this way. No! I'm doomed. I'm doomed. The dome's going to break. The world is going to fail. That's a bit of an issue. Bit of an issue. And obviously, knowing his half the battle, I know how to fight. I'm not going to win. There's a few slight gaps in the wall. Okay, faster movement speed, slightly more power. Increase the drill strength would be nice next. Should this be giving me something? Yeah. How do I use that? Oh, it's automatically used. Uh oh. Uh oh. God damn it! Dome's going down! Dome's going down! There's just more of them. I don't need more power. I need to be able to repair. Maybe that one. Maybe that one over there on the right. So, yeah. Difficult game. Difficult game. I'm definitely not good at it. This dome's going to break another one or two hits. Can I do anything? No. Nope. Better drill strength would have been nice at the very beginning. Yeah, that would have been better, wouldn't it? That would have been much better. 
Oh my god. Yep, doomed. Doomed. It's knowing about the resource. I should have gone for the drills first. Faster drills, faster resources, but no. Instead, we die here. We die doing what we love. Stealing resources out the ground. Ah, there we go, we're dead. So we have failed on planet Lofi. Oh, I get to keep one. Oh, and the... And there is the roguelite element. You get to keep a part of it. And that's it. Oh, well, this looks a bit different. And there we go. So yeah, that is Dome Romantic. Build, grow, expand, die. And when you die, you try. And when you try hard, you die hard. Obviously, I'm going to get better drills this time round. Hey, Quigley, how are you? More resources. More resources. I'm doing okay. Doing okay. Uh, faster jetpack. Okay, so now we move faster, dig faster. Should have done this at the very beginning. It's all about grabbing the resources fast at the very beginning. I, sir, am a moop it. Am a moop it. Uh oh. I'm a moopit. Okay, I want uh, better thrusters, laser targeting. We'll get better laser soon as well. So you don't get access to the repair stuff very easy. It seems to be very rare. So if you get stuff, you have to like really cherish it. Mostly what you're after is to upgrade things fast enough to get going faster. So I very much need more of the basic resources. And obviously the deeper you go, the slower you dig. The music's pretty damn nice, if I'm honest. Listening to this is pretty relaxing. Pretty relaxing. I can probably have Orchard or Shield. I can now have a Shield. And now I want, uh... What's this, Recharge? I want power for my laser. I can't afford power for my laser. There we go, so now have a good shield. We have a couple of upgrades, oh. God, this still moves so slowly. Uh, upgrades for your laser for movement and damage, definitely super important. That was pain. All the pain. But yeah, Dome Romantic. Very, very simple. Very addictive. It's 
It's all about knowing what to do, getting the right resources, and hoping the roguelite RNG hasn't screwed you out of the resources you need. Like, last time I got so many upgrade stuff. This time, I'm kind of hoping. I'm kind of hoping. Get a proximity. Displays the stored resources. Yeah, I'd like to know what resources I have stored. Increases the dome. Take this damage from monster hit. Yes, I have one of those. So the enemy attack's happening in a little bit. That's fine. Bottom left is telling me there's no resources this way, of course. Health bar looks good. It's at three quarters. It's all right. Uh oh, I need to upgrade my drill again. Or find faster, easier to grab stuff. Must go. Gotta go fast. Oh, Sonic's coming out on Friday. Whenever, whenever Friday is for you people. Okay, upgrade the shield. I don't have access to any of this, do I? Water, cobalt? Displays just the closest to these? I definitely like cobalt, yes. Definitely the water display, yes. Yes. Okay, much better. Much better. We should be glorious now. We should be golden. Okay, now it's showing me multiple different upgrades. As you can see, it's showing me there's multiple different things I can find now. There we go. Bring some back. We'll come back for you. Now, there's obviously, there's not much more to this. You've kind of seen the game now. There's obviously different domes, there's obviously different upgrades, but you've kind of seen the whole game. So if you like what you see, get a demo. If you really like what you see, get the game. Not sure if the game exists yet, but do it anyway. Listen to me, I talk from the future. Okay, what we need is repairs, which I still can't grab. Give me the stored inventory. Okay, now I see what I've got. Five, one. That's much better. That's much better. I can actually see stuff now. Iron compass displays directions to closest iron. That's great. Okay. So now we have a lot of upgrades. It's showing me a lot of things. I'm now significantly better. I need a faster laser, though. Oh my god, we are glorious. We have more health, we have repairing rotating shield, we have defences and stuff going on. We are actually in a good position second time round, or first time, depending if I edit it. Or if you don't watch, you know, the stream. So there's iron straight down. I'm not powerful! Oh, so great. Uh, blast mine. If you just blast shot, we can destroy surrounding blocks. Yeah. I see. So I have two of those things I can have there. It's great. There's an iron right next to me. There we go. I'll come back for the rest of you. 
This should give me more powerful laser. Uh oh. Go, 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 go. I'm starting to lose. No, the cracks are spreading. We were doing so well and now we're not. Ah. Be asked, day romantic. You've got to see more. Definitely go and have a look at it. I am not the best. I am merely a tribute. Yeah, this is not. I'm not the best gamer for this. I am merely a tribute. Oh dear. Definitely better upgrades. Should have gone for the laser first. Should have gone for the drilling first. Oh. It be what it be, what it be is my doom. Which is a shame, because I like being alive. But yeah, dome romantic. This is I in this way. Oh. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. immediately annihilating them, that'd be cool. Uh oh. We're dead, we're dead, we're dead. Ah, don't romantic, everyone died. What a shame. What a shame. That was a shame. Now, I started a lot earlier in the day because, well, I just wanted to. I don't know what to do. I might end it here. I'm going to try and get, I'm getting back into the whole streaming thing again, as you may have noticed. My pile of indies is probably going to be a Wednesday-based thing. Don't platonic. Oh, Lofi. Oh, I hate you. I hate you so much. But yeah, I'm beginning to think Tuesdays and Thursdays will be me picking up random games to play. Like maybe just go back to other side, continue with um, Oxygen Not Included. And Wednesdays will be my pile of indies. Because we'll see how it goes. Obviously, I don't quite know what to do with the series. It's interesting because it lets me play games. But obviously, there's not too much interest in that yet. I've got to get back into the streaming thing. It's just... It's my fault for not streaming as often. But yeah. I personally am going to be happy getting back into the whole streaming thing. It's just going to take a little bit of time and a little bit of a while. Because that's just how it goes. But yeah, I saw it. I'm hungry. I'm peckish. I've not eaten today. I'm going to go for food.
Um, thank you guys for being with me here today for my streaming game back into it. Thank you guys for being awesome and epic. Hopefully you guys have an absolutely great time. And yeah, I'm going to go get some food. I'm going to go eat. Stay awesome. Stay epic. Stay amazing. Tell, tell her of my noble deeds. Tell her of the gloriousness which happened. Tell her of the fact that two bases died. But yes, till then, be awesome. Be epic. Be amazing. Cue the goodbye. Somebody put out that racket. If there's trouble, you're about to attract it. G Cash, my moves is so practice. Like a phantom, watch while I smash this. Fly honey to my room like it's tragic. Don't make wave silence, it's magic. Uh, uh. If there's a fever, I'ma damn well catch it. If there's a record, I'ma damn well scratch it. Yo, check out my mad flow. It's not this minion, just your prank corn rouse. Everyone here knows I'm the Nero. Stop one, two, three, four, Nero. Rolling, don't even need a step. I engineer beats like Emotep. Players run when they see me on the mic check. I got spikes that'll make a dude's life wreck. Hey ladies, I'm Steffi. Give me a digits, phone getting heavy. I'll pick it up, you can see what we start. I might just break your heart. Ain't never easy, be a sleazy, but I get by. I'm in my elements, but I make a baby cry. If you ever try to cross me, there'll be hell to pay. So stay out of You know what? Don't. Cause I'm the boss. I'm the boss. I'm very, very sorry for your loss. I'm the boss. I'm the boss. And just in case I didn't get my point across, I'm the boss. I'm the boss. I'm very, very sorry for your loss. I'm the boss. I'm the boss. Just in case I didn't get my point across I'm the boss, I'm the boss I'm very, very sorry for your loss I'm the boss, I'm the boss And just in case I didn't get my point across